Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by to talk some sneakers with us for a few minutes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do a brand new video almost every single day. I know if you tune in regularly, you hear me say that a lot, but if this is your first time, then you don't. And so I have to say it. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. Sorry for the voice, by the way. I'm still a tad under the weather, but we are recovering. I am on the mend. Thanks for all the well wishes. And actually the home or even homeopathic, is that a word? That's a word, but that's not the right word. Homeopathic remedies. I want to say that's what I'm going with. Thank you for everyone who sent me uh, well wishes and all that stuff on Twitter and Instagram. I do appreciate it. Now, today we have another pair of Yeezys. I know. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy. You say his name three times in the mirror, and I think a pair of sneakers appears. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I think it is a thing. So, three, two, one. Bang, bang. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Marsh. These just released and retail was $220, the standard 350 V2 price point. Is anyone else tired of 350s? I mean, raise your hand. Buckets, no hand up from you? They can't see me. Okay. But hypothetically, if they could, would your hand be raised? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm tired of 350s. I'm just, I'm tired of them. I mean, how many 350 colorways has there been at this point? I mean, I don't know what the number is, but it's got to be a lot. And still, every time a new colorway releases, people buy them. People are asking about them. They want to see them. Maybe not as much as they once were, but still. And I think the reason is this. The 350 is a really nice sneaker. It's just that if you own a pair or you own a couple of them, you own all of them. If I didn't own a pair of 350s, I might want to buy this pair, especially because you can get them for just a little bit over retail right now. But if you own a few colorways already, which I do, these have almost no appeal, at least to me anyway. I just want to make that clarification because I do like the 350 V2 a lot, actually. I don't like all of the colorways that are so similar. You find yourself saying, wait, did they release this pair or this colorway already? And that's kind of what it's come to. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. Adidas and Kanye, they seem to know what they're doing. So they can keep doing what they're doing, but I'm just not going to buy any more 350s. In fact, in the past year, maybe I've bought two pairs, maybe? And at this point, I'm not gonna buy another pair for a very long time. Now, as far as this colorway goes, it's marsh on marsh on marsh, which I'm just gonna call a yellowish mustard type of shade, more of a gold trim around the ankle, gray stripe across the side, that 350 supply stripe that we've come to know and love. And it's really the only thing that breaks this sneaker up. You also have some round laces and then a paler yellow on the midsole and outsole with the boost peeking through as you can see. As far as a review goes or some in-depth breakdown, I'm guessing 95% of you watching this video right now, as I speak, you've seen plenty of 350 V2s. So at this point, there isn't a ton to dive into, 
other than just it being a slightly different colorway than the last. And even the colorways that I like, for example, there's an olive pair coming up. I think it's called uh, the Earth colorway. Dope, but I'm just not excited about any 350 at this point, like I mentioned. Except, except, here's my exception, a burgundy pair. Burgundy boys, gang, gang, gang. A burgundy pair I would get excited about, but that's really it. If you haven't owned or tried a pair of 350 V2s, you should. It's an awesome sneaker, it really is. Put all the colorways on the wall and throw a dart or pick a colorway out of a hat. There are plenty you can find for around that retail range, at least retail-ish. And it's a cozy ass shoe. I like it a lot, but like I said, and I know I'm kind of a broken record at this point, but it is what it is. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on a pair of the Yeezy Quantum basketball sneakers. Will I like that shoe in the long run more than the 350 V2? Probably not, to be honest. But right now, I'm way more excited about it because it's something new, it's something different, it's something that I don't already know so much about, so there's more intrigue there. Buckets, would you say I'm summing this up? Am I surmising? Is that the right word? Summation. Is my summation accurate per your records? Yeah. yeah. Relatively. Yeah. This is okay. Good. I'm trying to throw some SAT words out there. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway? Marsh. And I want to, I want to say mosh. I, I, I don't know why I want to go Boston accent on this colorway. Okay. Hey, give me the, give me a pair of the mosh Yeezys out of the back. Hey, Bring me a pair of mosh in a size 13, would you? I don't know. Let us know how you feel about Yeezys, about the 350 V2, about the Quantum that just released in Chicago uh, for All-Star Weekend. Uh, let us know how you feel. Let us know what you had for lunch. Let us know if you have some homeopathic soup recipes for your boy. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. Adiós.